am Jessica here at Nautilus Mission Control at the Inner Space Center in Rhode Island. We just completed the 2011 Nautilus Expedition and here are the highlights. It all started in the Black Sea where we spent 23 days off the coasts of Areli and Sinop, Turkey. There we explored nine newfound shipwrecks. The oldest wreck that we found was 2,200 years old, dating to the Hellenistic period between 3rd and 1st century BC. We named it Sinop I, and it's the oldest wreck we've found in the Black Sea so far. Next stop was the Southeast Aegean Sea, where we spent 10 days off the coast of Turkey. There we explored an additional 11 newfound shipwrecks. One standout wreck was the Greek merchant ship, the Dodecanesos. It sank in 1958 during a gale. Also on this leg, we came across some interesting biology. Most notable, a tiny octopus eating a shrimp. In leg three of the expedition, we stayed in the Aegean Sea, but headed over to the Hellenic Ark, off the coast of Santorini, Greece. There we explored hydrothermal vents and underwater cliffs, and took water, gas, and geologic samples. One of the biological highlights was a tripod fish walking along the sea floor. On the fourth leg of the expedition, we spent 10 days in the Mediterranean Sea, north of Sicily, Italy, in an area called the Aeolian Ark, exploring five submarine volcanoes. We found bacteria, signs of venting, large colonies of tube worms, and beautiful lava domes. Next stop, Spain. We spent nine days in the western Mediterranean, exploring the area where the Eurasian and African plates come together. There we saw volcanic rock and took some samples. We also found biology. Hercules' camera caught a swordfish swimming by. In the sixth leg of the expedition, we explored two seamounts off the coast of Portugal. We were looking for a unique type of hydrothermal vent that forms when the Earth's mantle is exposed to seawater. We did not see any evidence of venting, but did come across plenty of fun biology, including a monkfish bellied up to a large buffet of mackerel. In leg seven of the expedition, we explored both north and south of the island of Sicily and spent a lot of time off of Pantelleria. We found some evidence of diffuse venting and some beautiful pillow lava structures. We also saw the largest animal of the season, an 11-foot, six-gilled shark. The crew got quite a surprise when the ROV Hercules came across the remnants of an airplane on the seafloor. There was a symbol on one of its wings that helped us identify it as an Italian World War II plane. We ended the expedition off the coast of Israel. There we explored pock marks or sinkhole-like features on the seafloor, a deep-sea coral reef, and found active cold seeps venting gas bubbles and supporting large colonies of clams and tube worms. We took samples in all of these areas. So that concludes the 2011 Nautilus Expedition season. For more photos, blogs, and videos from the expedition, check out nautiluslive.org. And until we see you next year, keep on exploring. Thank <laughs> you.